Hello and welcome to Terrascape. In Terrascape, you build your own dream city. Each pack of cards in Terrascape offers different buildings and ways to expand your kingdom. Place your cards wisely in the game world to earn points and receive new cards as rewards. Terrascape comes to us from Bitfall Studios and is published by Toplitz Productions. And it has just come out uh, yesterday as I'm releasing this video, April 5th on Steam, early access. So it is not a finished game yet. You can uh, you can contribute to the early access both by purchasing the game, which is on sale for 25% off uh, this week for, for one week after the release. And uh, you can also uh, contribute by providing feedback and bug reports, of course, to the game developers. This game is single player and multiplayer, uh, player versus player style, but given the style of game, it only makes sense, I think, to be a PvP style game. In this game, we will uh, place different buildings on tiles, uh, similar to games such as um, Dorf Romantic, in a way, except that the tiles, the board tiles are already there, and instead you're placing the uh, the the buildings on those tiles to claim the resources. So in that way, similar to other games such as uh, Catan or uh, or something along that along that line. And so let's just go ahead and jump in and take a look at the game. In multiplayer mode, I haven't experienced it yet, and in fact, I haven't experienced the game basically at all. Um, but you you uh, you can play in multiplayer, as I mentioned, player versus player. I don't know if there's any more than you know, it's any more than 1v1, or if there's multiple. Um, but in single player, there are two modes. There's a puzzle challenge mode and a free play mode. In the puzzle challenge mode, we will beat. We need to beat the challenge path with increasingly difficult puzzle terras. In the free play, we earn medals and beat high scores while forging kingdoms on randomly generated terras. And so we're going to try the puzzle mode first, at least today, and see kind of what that's about, and then maybe we'll do... Uh, an episode in the future or a series perhaps in the future of episodes on the free play mode um, before we go into that let's take a quick glance at the settings um, edge scrolling is on I may turn it off uh, locking the cursor to the window is off uh, I turned on the auto saves and we're gonna use the tutorial because this is my first time playing it I am playing it blind uh, surprisingly the the sound is all up at maximum and it's actually fairly good um, which is uncommon, I think. A lot of games, you end up having to turn something down to balance it out. Uh, and then, or I do, anyway. And then, of course, graphics settings here. Um, you can control uh, the FPS limits and uh, the FPS um, in the background as well. If you have V-Sync, you can use that. I don't, so I'm going to turn on the target FPS there. And then, of course, some controls here. Uh, Nothing that should surprise, at least in that top section, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll learn about the rest of these as we proceed through the uh, through the game. So let's apply that. Go back to the single player and start the puzzle challenges. Here's our first puzzle challenge: the tree nursery. Some people can't see the forest for the trees. We hope you are not one of them. Figure out the optimal placement for lumberjacks. All right, start the game. Welcome. As this is your first time playing Terrascape, we will show you the basics that you need to master the game. If you already know how to play Terrascape, you can skip the tutorial hints. Okay, we're going to keep them on. Moving around, let's get an overview of the map. You can move the camera by holding down the right mouse button and dragging or using WASD. And then we can rotate our camera. Wait, where'd, the, where'd that go away? That wasn't supposed to go away. Uh, Q and E, uh, and then also mouse wheel click and drag. Um, it was keep going away. That's interesting. Uh, mouse wheels to scroll to zoom in and out. Uh, and challenges. In Challenge Terrace, you start with a limited selection of buildings. Place them wisely. They are the only ones you will get. Got it. When placing a building, it's important to consider its range and its influences. The building's, a building's score can be influenced by the biome they're placed on, as well as by resources and buildings that are inside its range. To learn about building's range and its influences, move your mouse over its card. So here, uh, they're giving us an example of a green field. Um, the first thing is its range, which is one tile. And then here is the uh, the biome they're placed in. It, it likes to be uh, grass and stone, but out on coast. And uh, it receives and loses it receives points from rivers and lakes. Got it. 
and a good influence. When you have a building card selected, you'll see a live preview of all the influences that will affect the score of a building. The number above the building shows how many points you've received if you place the building at this position. Try to find a worthy spot to continue. Left click to place a building or right click to cancel the preview. Okay, so in, in a way it kind of reminds me of um, uh, a little bit at least uh, what's the name of that? I'm just I'm, I'm spacing on the name of the game right now. Um, wow, that was that's that's uh, that'll do it. Um, hmm. Now I'm gonna have to look it up really quickly because it's gonna bother me. Maybe really quickly. Oh, um, Carcassonne. A little bit. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, so uh, let's go here. Lumberjack has a one tile range, as you can see in the top right corner. Receives and loses points from receives points from forests, loses points from other lumberjacks in that range. And we have six lumberjacks to place. So we need to, I think, achieve a score of 140 here. I think that's what this is telling us. We have currently have zero, and we need to achieve a score of 140. So let's go ahead and try it. Um, if we, if we click on one of these and, and mouse it over, uh, it looks like we can earn 24 points at maximum, and maybe less if we go up too close to these mountains here. So let's stay away from the mountains a little, and maybe go here first. That gives me 24 points. And if we go here, we'll lose points from both of them because there's a, there's a, a lumberjack in range. So maybe we go either out here, which isn't a good idea because it's on the river tile, but maybe we could go here, which gives us another 24 points like that. And they are sharing those tiles, but they don't seem to mind. So if they don't mind, I don't mind. Another 24 here. That's great. And then we're going to kind of hit the point here where we're going to run out of um, space on this side. And we definitely can't put it on these tiles. So let's go over here. And I think the closest we can, furthest up we can go is right there for 24. And then here, and then here. And I'm getting achievements like crazy. Uh, when we opened the multiplayer screen, we got a multiplayer achievement. And then we reached bronze medal on any challenge level. Actually, we've reached a little more than bronze. I think, yeah, we earned gold here. So let's go to the uh, next challenge. We spent a lot of time here, but that's because we were talking. The uh, next challenge. It's not as easy as it seems. Try to find the best placement for sawmills. Make sure you don't get bored. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, so a sawmill needs to have a lumberjack in range as well as some forest and cannot have another sawmill in range. So we have two sawmills and three lumberjacks. Well, that tells me that we want to do a, an alternating um, pattern. So maybe like lumberjack, sawmill, lumberjack, sawmill, lumberjack. And if that's the case, uh, maybe, let's see. Looking for any any sweet spots or it's all gonna be, oh, there's a 24 right there. There's 24 there, there's a 24 there. You know what? I bet you we're supposed to put these sawmills on those tiles, or these uh, lumberjacks rather. Um, but the problem is, is they're actually a little bit too far away to try and double dip with the sawmill. So maybe we don't do that, at least not with all of them. Maybe we bring that one, and this one, and that one. And then we can put the sawmills here, which reduces the points for the, uh, the, the, the lumberjacks, but it's going to severely increase. Oh, these have a huge range. Well, that's not a good thing. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, in that case, can I retry? Not that I need to. I think we're going to get plenty of points anyways. But I didn't look at the range on the card. Let's uh, let's try that again. Uh, the range on this card says two. So let's go into those same spots or those spots that we originally were going to do, and then we can do a sawmill here. Yeah, or here even. Uh, Forty-two would be best. But that might lock me out of... Oh, maybe not. Let's go here. And then let's go here to give me another 42. Yeah. That's the best. Well, maybe not the best, but it's great. However, we didn't get gold medal. We only got silver. So there's a better way to do this. 
Uh, let's retry. One more time. I have another idea. If I put these back the way that they were, in those three spots, then I want to push these out so they don't reduce the score of... Yeah, right there is a good spot. It's only 39, but it's not going to reduce the scores of the Lumberjacks any. So maybe we go there instead. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but... And this one would have to go here. So I don't know that that helps. That actually made it worse. Okay. That made it worse. Let's give it one more try. Pay attention to the order in which you place buildings. Well, we since the lumberjack is... Well, wait a minute. Hmm. Maybe we need to do these first, then. Um, and maybe... Hmm. If we did that... And then if we did... This... That still goes silver. Hmm. I'm, um... Oh, there's more stuff here. Okay, so I only got two bronze building placements. So I guess I did need to place the lumber mills first, or lumberjacks first, before the sawmills. Maybe we'll give it one more try. Uh, or at least I want to go back and see that... Try and, try and mimic that really good day we had. I think these have to go here. I don't know how else to do this besides putting those in those spots in terms of their points. Maybe we can go... Gosh, that 58 is really nice. And or, and or 59, but that makes it too much. What if I did... that one? And then... this one. There we are. I did it. Nice. We got one silver building placement, but that's okay. Let's go to the next challenge now. I figured it out. Okay, cottages. All right, so cottages receive points um, in grass, as well as longhouses, forests, rivers, seas, lakes, and other cottages. So it benefits them to be clustered together. Um, is, does it tell me what these different... No, it doesn't. I wish you could kind of click on these to see what they are. Why is that one only 14? Because they don't like the benefit... They don't like being uh, next to the animals. That's not a beneficial tile for them. So what we should do is place on the animals first. Because that'll give us more points. And then place the houses in between to get the bonuses from the other houses. Yes. Uh, so, 16, 18, 20. We could go with the 20 first there. And then maybe this 18 next. We also have, no. Um, there's a 14 down there. I think we'll go with this 18 up here next. And then we can do... This one here to get another 18. Yeah, that's good. And then we'll come down here for a 20. Yep. And then this is makes 18. That'll be a 14. That's pretty good. Uh, if we did that 16 next here, then we could do this one to make it an 18. And then we have this 14 here, which makes that a 14. And now we're stuck at 10, 10, there's a 14 here, so do that one next. That makes this one a 12. We have four houses to place yet. Uh, that's a 14 there though. 10, 12, let's go with uh, this 14. And then, 
If I did this 10, that would make that one better. So let's do this 10, even though it's not as good. Then we go with this one, which is now a 14. That's a 12. Ooh, there's a 16 up here that I didn't notice. Well, crap. There we go. And that's it. But we did get gold, at least. That's cool. Next. All right. The apple doesn't far, fall, fall far from the tree. And when lumberjacks are involved, it also goes the other way around. Fill up the forest before cutting them down. So we have orchards and lumberjacks. Uh, the orchards have a one power rage. They get points on grass and stone, and they lose points on coastline. Well, we don't have any coastline, I don't think. Uh, they they lose they gain and lose or they gain points or receive points from forest rivers, lakes, lumberjacks, and orchards. Other orchards. Okay, so I think that means that they're not going to get as many points if they're. Um, if they're placed on, or if they're not placed on the animals, like we kind of saw before, because they get points from the grass biome, which is where the animals are. It's actually grass, not animals specifically, I think. Um, but they won't get po bonus points from grass if it's nearby them. Whereas lumberjacks get points from forests and orchards and don't get any points from other lumberjacks. Okay, so maybe we do these on the grass tiles then. Uh, we have six of them. Something would tell me to do these outer six, but the middle one is interesting. Uh, that's 21, 27, 27, 21. Yeah, let's do the 27s first because of the rivers, I guess, is why they're better. And then go from there. You and you. And then these are all 21s, and that one's a 21 as well. Maybe we just do all six of these outer ones then. That gives me a bunch of gold, and then we can do lumberjacks... And they're going to get 24 points there, there. Yeah, let's do those two 24s first, unless there's something better out here. Nope. 24 there. 24 here. There's a 20. Another 20. There's another 24. 16. So there's a 20. We only have one more to place, so I guess it's 20 points. Which means we're not going to get the optimal score here. They're going to get the gold. So there's something else we needed to do besides this. And that besides this might have been to not put this one here, since these are the weaker ones over here, and instead put that one in the middle to get extra bonuses in the middle. So let's put that one down, and then uh, we'll try that idea instead. And they're weaker because they're by the mountains, I think. A retry. Oh, you can manually sort your cards by dragging. All right, let's try that idea. Let's not do this one. Let's do these two 27s. This 21, these 21s like that. And then we'll do the lumberjacks in the same places. 24 there, 24 here, and 24 here. And then I think, yeah, we can get another 24 right here in the middle, which is still not enough points. Interesting. Interesting. It's more points, but not enough points. Oh, wait, there is a tooltip there. Grass and forest. Hmm. Let's do one more try. Just to kind of see if there's uh, a better way, if we can figure out the better way to do this. I'm thinking that the lumberjacks, although the lumberjacks might get bonused better for these. No, because they don't gain bonuses on... Oh, yes, they do. What if we put the lumberjacks on these tiles? 24. Like this. And then we did... 30? Yeah. There's a 30 there. Um, I saw a 24 a bit ago. There's 21s there. 22. Here's a 24. Let's go there. Um, these get... Friend bonuses from being next to orchards, so that could be useful. There's a 24 over there. Let's do that one. 18, 21, 22. But if I did this 21, that would make that one even better. So maybe that's the way to do it there. 
you. And then a 25. Alright, we have one left. Can we get 25 more points someplace? No, we cannot. So, I, I think I'm on the right track with this. But we're not quite there yet. There's another... There's another bit of the puzzle to work out to get that last... I'm sorry, it was 35 points, not 25 points. So there's a bit more to go here with this. But um, I think we'll move on. And we'll try to get uh, try to get a couple more levels done. Okay. Uh, orchard and... Or six orchards and a lumberjack. So this is similar to the last... The same, same map. Apple tree 241. The apple... It's the same... Yeah, the same thing there. Wait, did I... No, it's just, I, I retried, didn't I, instead of moving on. Maybe I did. If I did, we'll try again. Um, let's see. You're all 24s. Um, maybe we do instead... What if I do like this? I put an orchard here. Uh, there's a 30. 24, I saw a 27 over here. Twenty-four. There's a twenty-five over here, though. Which I guess I technically should have done first. But there we go. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. If I could get a twenty No, it's gonna be thirty-two. Never mind. What's up with you and your math, Wally? Um I guess we'll just do one of these 21s. I think I'm on the right track with placing the lumber jacks down first, but um, I don't I don't know. Next challenge? Or are you gonna put me back in the same one? Did I misclick? Okay, I must have misclicked before. Fairy tales. Fishing boats must be placed on water and benefit from fish swarms. Shocking, I know. All right, so fishing boats, uh, they need to be on water. Uh, six points for being on water, and they gain extra points for being next to a fish tile, next to a, a river tile, next to a lake tile, or a sea tile, and not next to any fishing boats. So, and we have ten of these to place. Um, so there's, there's a 33 over there, and then probably another one there. Um, there's a 39 there, that's really good. There's a bunch up here, too. 30, 40, 42, that could be really good with that 40. Let's start with those two, uh, 42 and then a 40. Uh, down here, the best tile is 33, um, and then these two aren't, there's a 39 there, that one's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that one too. And then down here, um, 32, looks like a nice high score. Uh, 37 here. There's a lot of water we can look at. Uh, 33. And... These ones aren't very good at all. Oh, there's one there. That's an 11. There's one here. That's a 6. The 30 right there. Okay, so we'll come back up here for that 30, I think. Um, let's do the 33 here. Although that blocks... Wait, what is that? Oh, I already put one there. Duh. 32. Do that one. You were 11. Yeah, I don't care about that one. For right now, at least. 28. 37. Just want to make sure that, like, placing at the 37 won't block these from getting as good of a score. Or a better score, I mean. Than the 37, so... Uh, 28, 28, 33. Let's go ahead and do that one. Uh, just got another achievement. 24. What was that? The best score up here? 24? Yeah. 6. There's, some 20, there's a 27 here, even with the boat in the way. Uh, 27, 27, 30. Let's do the 30. Two more boats to place. Um, 27 is the best score up there, though. 28 here. I think we'll maybe do that one. Uh, 28 there as well. Maybe we can do one of them, then. I doubt I'll get two, two of them better than that. 
And this up here is just a bummer. Let's go to that other 28. Uh, right there. And that gave me way, way a lot of points. Nice. All the way to gold. Um, next challenge. And blew right past it, even. Keep it up. Keeps do not receive placement bonuses, but they award them to village buildings like the cottage. So keep that in mind. That means that the, that we want to put the keep down first. The the cottages get six points from a keep, six points from a longhouse, two points from forests, rivers, seas, lakes, and other cottages. So and we put them on grass, but only grass. But that but there's grass under the under the um, under the forest. So we uh, we're fine putting them kind of wherever. Uh, they also get bonuses from here, but the only thing they get significant bonuses from are the keeps and the longhouses. So I think we should just... Wow, that's a big one. That's a big one. Uh, I think we should have put these down... Or this down, rather. Uh, somewhere... Maybe up against the mountains, like that. 14 cottages, but we're not going to be able to put all 14 around it. Because they only have a one-tile range anyway. Uh, would it be beneficial to put them... Next to the keep up here? Possibly. Uh, the best score that I think you can get on a cottage by itself, first thing, looks like 18. Thanks to um, wherever it was, tile. I saw it. Didn't I see an 18? I guess maybe I didn't see an 18. I thought I saw an 18. There's a 16 there, though. 16's pretty good. Um... Putting the cottages on these tiles would be useful, though, because they get the bonus from being there, but they don't get the neighbor bonus. Um, but then again, they get the bonuses from everywhere, so it kind of doesn't matter. If I put the keep maybe on this here, like that, that kills most of the grassland tiles and brings us 18, 22. Let's start with that uh, 22 right there. And that should... Um, no, wait, I shouldn't have done that. Is there an undo button? Merged buildings? What the heck? Let's just retry right away, because I saw something I should have done differently. And if you put buildings in... Or houses in that shape, you'll get a longhouse out of it? That's something that I didn't know before. That might affect me some. Uh, yeah, let's do that still. And then let's do these here and here. Because that kills the, uh, the, the dread for that bonus. And gives me better scores out here. Uh, but it also gives me these ones that I want to do, I think, as well. And now if I put this one here, does that count as a longhouse? I think it should. Let's try it. Just to try it. Yes, it does. Longhouse achievement unlocked. Also, I unlocked another achievement. Uh, challenge accepted two, which are, uh, earned five challenge level bronze medals. And that gives us the demolition ability. Interesting. That's a 20, a 24 over there. 20 there. Um, 18. Let's go with that 24, I think. And with the river here, we don't get anything special, but a 20... Looks like 20 is my next best score here. So we'll do those those three 20s. Um, and then down here is another 20. And that gave me something. 16, 12, 18. With that one. 16. Check out here too. Yeah, those are weaker scores. 12. 14 then. And that's another longhouse bonus there. Or building. Uh, that got me gold though, so that's worth it for me, I guess. Uh, next challenge. Next. Next. Game on. Hunting efficiently is, efficiently is no easy task. Rules have to be followed. Regulations and efficient spacing considered. All for a few bucks. Okay, the dad joke humor is top level here. Hunting cabin, uh, two tile range, gains points from game, which would be these here. Yeah, there it is. There's the mouse over tooltip, grass and game, 
and uh, forests, rivers, and lakes, but game is important. And hunting cabins knock us down by 30. We have five of them to place. Um, there are There's game all over the place here. Uh, there's a 54, a 66. Holy cow. Oh yeah, because there's three of them within range of that one. That could be really good. Um, let's see if we can find anything that's better than 66 to start on. And then we can keep the heck away from that one. There's a 60 there that'll be useful for later. Uh, somewhere in this area would have to be the next best score because there's three game within range there. Um, 60 again. There's a 68. 72! Oof. Okay, I think we're going to do the 72. That loses the 68 then because of their proximity, but uh, we still can do the 66 over here. So that'll be really good. And then... Uh, let's see. What about down here? What's down here? Nothing useful. Okay. Uh, I like how the... The scores kind of change color a little bit too so the really bad spots are red to score um, and it's kind of helping you by telling you that uh, then there's kind of goes into gray like here with the 40 and then a little yellow there with the 46 and then uh, I can't remember what the, what the good ones were but you get the idea um, 60 still right there that might be our next best bet there's a 60 there as well are those going to block each other? nope Great. I don't think so. I guess I can double check. Wouldn't hurt, right? 60 and 60. Yeah, let's do it. One out here probably soon. Yeah, there's 60 right there as well. That's probably our next best bet. And there we go. And we almost beat the score. There's two points missing someplace. Sad. Sad. Let's try again. Let's try it again, see if we can get to that, that gold. I missed something somewhere. Someplace I could have gotten a 62 or something instead of a 60. Um, I know we had the 72. I don't... S the only reason that we wouldn't want to do the 72 is if we could get a better score by shifting it and getting one of the uh, neighbor bonuses instead. But I don't see why we wouldn't want to do that one. Uh, because if I shifted it, it drops a lot, and it doesn't uncover any that are really, really good. I mean, there's a 64 here. But if I if I do that one, then I don't get to do the 64. But if I do the 64, then I can't do the 60. So I think the 72 is still my best bet uh, to start with. Um, in terms of the ones that get blocked. Uh, so there's 60, there's the 64. Um... Sorry, this, yeah, the 60. Or another 60, I mean. There's those two. 50-something um, there. 62, 64, 66. So here, unfortunately, the 66 is going to block all of these three. It's, they're, they're in range. And if we went off a little bit, we couldn't get off to get any of those better. Uh, then the difference between that and the 52 over here, I don't think. And so, oh, there's a 66 there, though. Maybe that's my, my mistake. Because that gives me that 62. Yes, there it is. That was my mistake, I think. Uh, so we still have a 62, then. Um, here. Yeah, this game, I'm, I'm, I'm really fascinated by these puzzles. I like this kind of puzzle. I hope that those of you watching like these kind of puzzles, too. So we have that 62. We have a 60 and a 60. And I think those are our best three scores. There's a 60 here as well. Um, that one would work as an alternative. Although, if that 60 goes... Where's the other one at? Does that block that one? No, it doesn't block that one. But we need to get this uh, 62 over here, which I think had to be my my mistake from, from before. 62 there. And then we can do um, a 60, yes. And we can do another 60 over here or right here. And that gets us exactly the gold score. Nice. All right, let's do one more at least. See what we can... Uh, See what we can uncover. 
River dance, orchards, and fisheries don't just have the occasional worm in common. They also both benefit greatly from rivers. So we have fisheries. Uh, they get points on the coastline, which makes sense. And uh, they gain points from fish, rivers, lakes, and seas, and they can't have other fisheries in range. The orchards, uh, like grass and stone, not coastline, which that's good. And they gain points from forests, rivers, lakes, and or other orchards. So what counts as coastline? Just anywhere adjacent to the water? Or is it a special tile? I mean, these are pretty good scores. 50 here. But I'm not seeing... Tile called coastline. Or I'm not seeing any other types of bonuses that would be useful for that. But I'm not seeing a bonus underneath the tile either, like we get when we do this. You see the three the three point bonus there? So there's is there another coastline tile that we just don't have on this map? It's kinda looking like it. Because we're not seeing any bonuses uh, underneath the things. Uh, there's a bunch of fish around here. Um, that that fifty that fifty there looks really good. Um, it's going to block this 48, though, and also that 46, but we have a 54 there. Ooh, I didn't notice that one before. So that 54 might be our first placement for this, followed by the 50. Unless there's somebody else that was better that I didn't notice as well. Either way, we kind of know we need to be nearby the coastline because of the fish and the river bonuses, both being four points, so... Uh, coming back into here only gets us river bonuses, which probably would never work out well. There's a 42 there. That's not bad. Um, and that might even be number three. But I think we can go ahead and try this uh, 54 here. And then the 50 over here as our starters. Uh, 22 there. Yeah, negative points. We're not going there, obviously. Um... 26. Thirty-four. Twenty-eight. Thirty. Forty-two over there. Thirty-six. Let's go with that forty-two. Um, that's going to block, though, this thirty. That's fine. And that thirty-eight, which... You're not going to get both of them any, ever anyways, so take the take the win. That's only a silver, though. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we had a 30-something over here, 34. And, um... These don't get bonuses from being next to those, right? They do not. Okay. Uh, 34, 34, 34, 34. Anybody better than a 34? 36... Not better than a 34. I think that's our winner. Yep, uh, right there. Okay. And then orchards. Um, these like to be on grass and stone. 15, 18. We have six of these to place. We need to get another 160 points. There's a 25. That's a markedly... There's another 25 there, and they're far enough apart that we can place them both. But there's a 27 there, which is even better. And a 30, though. But I could do... So here's here's what I was trying to trying to come up with before that I couldn't come up with. I could do, or couldn't find an example of, if I did the 27 that kills the 30, and the 25, but if I did 25, 25, and 30, then that's really good. It kills this 24, but I think that's still better. Uh, so those three are my best bets, I think. There's another 25. But over here, anything useful? No, those are too tight in there. 
So I think those four now that I found in the 20s and the 130 um, would be really good for this. And they're going to get bonuses from each other as well, right, Orchard? Yes. So if I place them down, if they're too close together, which they're not. Oh, wait a minute. We can put them down. No, these don't have to be apart. These are these get overlap bonuses. So if I put them down smartly, I can get even more points. Um, let's start with that 30. So I can actually get the 30 and the 27 and the 25s. Yeah, that was stupid, Wally. Um, does that give me any bonus, though? Three points versus three points? No, I don't get any bonus for that. So let's just go in a row here. 30, 27, 25, 25... I need 160 points in six, so that's, um... Uh... Not quite 30 apiece. 180 would be 30, so... And 150 would be 25, so like an average of 20... 27 or so. Speaking of 27, right there's a 27. Let's do that. Oh no, I am 27. But a little less than 27. Uh, we have one more to place. We need to have 26 points. I don't know that I can get a 26. I might only be able to get a 25. Might. Unless I missed one someplace. I might have missed one someplace. Um, or might have missed a, an optimal placement thing. Um, in the adventure of those, those high numbers over there. Or... Did I put a fishery over here anywhere? No. But this one may be. So here's a thought. I don't know what that tile was originally. Does it tell me? No, it just tells me it's a fishery. It's possible that I should have put this fishery over here instead, taken those couple of points for that sacrifice, and gotten more points out of this instead. Um, that'll get us one point short. So that, that makes me feel like that that might have been the benefit. So let's do a retry on this one and see if I can recreate the wheel here. Um, and we're just going to actually look at this one sample here. No, actually, that wouldn't have given me anything because that takes away four points. And this was 25 and it's still 25. So we end up with the same score, I think. So unless I missed a tile someplace with these, um, we're kind of in the same spot. Uh, as before, but I could have missed something with the fishery too, I suppose um, That yeah, that 50 was really nice. This 54 is really nice. Really really nice um, But I don't know where else I should have gone with those So we'll go back to this 42 because I didn't give me anything uh, And then the last one I forgot where we put it 36, maybe? Oh, maybe that was what affected us. Because I was putting these here. Was that 36 where we placed? No, we didn't place it there. We placed it somewhere else. Where do we place that last one at? I don't have any memory of 34. Maybe that's why. I placed a 34 instead of a 36. I think I did. Let's go back here. Issue is, this is going to steal one of my 25s. So maybe that's not great either. But we can try it. Because that's point of the game is to try things, right? Point of uh, learning or playing a new game is to try things. 24, 27. We have 25 over here. We'll try that one. And then we have one left. And actually, we're... We're at uh, 34 points now, so yeah, that was that was not good. Uh, putting that one there, so we'll have to try something different um, with this one. Okay, well, what I think I'm going to do though is I think I'm going to uh, wrap this episode up here. Um, feedback is is as always welcome. Um, it looks like 24 is my best bet. Oh, that's a 24. I wonder what that one would have been without that. Interesting. We'll just go here then, I guess. And we're... Oh, we hit it! 
Oh, I did the math wrong. It was 24 points all along, not, not uh, 34. We hit it. Okay, so um, let's um, let's leave this episode here. And uh, let me know your feedback on the game in the chat, in the comments, or come to my Discord server. You can find the link in the description below. And we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the, um, the other mode, the adventure mode, uh, in the next episode. And then uh, if there's interest, we can come back to the puzzle mode again uh, in an episode following. Or uh, we can move on to something new. There are a number of games coming out this April that I'm interested in. So I definitely am going to want to um, feature a lot of different games here. Uh, there'll be some new stuff. There'll be some uh, stuff we saw uh, during demos, during Steam Next Fest or Steam Base Builder Fest, that, uh, we didn't, uh, that we didn't get to fully explore because they were demos. And uh, then we'll come back to this uh, as... Uh, based on demand and see what uh, see what else we can explore here um, inter interwoven with the other stuff we have uh, already ongoing and planned so thank you all for joining me and I will see you all next time bye for now